favorite color is blue. My favorite number is five. I'm a good boy. I don't talk back. I like to read and go to school, and I'm smart. One day, I like to become a, a famous explorer like Christopher Columbus, and I like to walk on the moon and fly a hot air balloon. Elliot! Matthew, stop shaking. But my arm hurt. Just hold on, I'm almost done. Next up, Kenya Road. Can I help you? Hello. Um, my, my name's Elliot. I received a letter. Please come in. Matthew, look at me. What's your name? Matthew. How old are you? Five. My birthday is in December. What's your favorite color? Red. That's the color of my mom's hair. You can't say that. Why? Because they don't want to hear about your real mom. We're trying to get you a new mom. I don't want a new mom. I want my mom. I want to go home. Thank you for coming. Of course. It's been a long time. You've got a nice place here, though. It's been good. Better than when we were kids. <laughs> I heard you ran out of a halfway house. Yeah. <laughs> It was a long time ago, Matt. You know, I, I went to a few different homes after you left, but, you know, nothing worked. When I was 16, I ended up in this real shithole, so I left. You know, I met some people, ended up down in North Carolina. I've been there for a while. It's okay. How long have you been sick? Uh -huh few months. Everything's been real good for me. I went to a good high school. I played soccer for the team. I saw all your 
trophies, ribbons. Uh, yeah, she still thinks I'm, I'm a little boy. I went to college, graduated in journalism. Uh, I've been to, been to France, Italy, uh, Germany, Spain, and uh, Japan. Japan, that, that, that's pretty cool. They've, uh, they've given me everything. But they don't know where I come from. What I, what I went through. I mean, they've been told, but they can never know. You know what we went through. You took care of me. You were like my fucking brother. I'm dying, Elliot, and uh, all I can think of is my past, where I came from, my birth parents. I feel like, I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm scared. You still have your video camera? Yeah. I'm not very good at this. I have lived a good life. That was one of my favorites, too. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Sad, though, wasn't it? Oh, it's, it's so sad. Well, you know, I mean, everyone's getting sick. I mean, really. Every time you turn around, some family, there's not a family that hasn't gotten something. Well, and all of this human gene cloning and all the toxins, what are we doing to ourselves? I thought you were going to ignore me all day. I see. I'm the asshole. It's bullshit, but... Of course, I'm the crazy bitch ex-girlfriend. Shunned by the family. It's not like it's my fault. It's not like I killed him. I'm taking Matt to Mexico. There's a vase in the downstairs bathroom. I'm gonna pour some of the ashes into it. Leave the rest of the ashes in the urn for his parents. I'm gonna hide the vase inside of my jacket. Walk to my car. 
We could be in Mexico in five days. So there's this place down there. We, we used to talk about it. You should take all of them. What? You should take all the ashes. Otherwise, what part are you taking? If you're going to take them, you should take all of Matt. Sorry, I, I just wanted to talk to you for a second. I can't. I'm going to Mexico. What's in Mexico? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? It's Elliot. Get in the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? Get in the car. Wait. Are those his ashes? Wait, you're, you're taking Matt's ashes to Mexico. Get out of here. All right, look. I, I have to come with you, okay? I said get the fuck out of here. I'll pay for everything. I got credit cards. I'll pay for hotel, food, whatever. On top of that, I'll give you $5,000 when we get there. Why? You just have to go, okay? You, you wouldn't understand. You're right. I wouldn't. Jesus Christ. Give me a cigarette. I think we should go back. I think you should give me a cigarette. I think we should pick him up. You have no idea what you're talking about. We don't even know this guy. He seemed like he knew Matt really well. He seemed really upset, Gray. Yeah, it's a funeral, Lily. People tend to look upset. Shit, Wait, right. what if he told on us? He's the only one who knows. He's not, he's not gonna tell on us. I think we should go back, I really do. Do you have any money? I don't have any money, Gray. Five thousand dollars! Do you have five thousand dollars? Fuck. This is such a bad idea. Come on, Gray. This is such a bad idea. Okay, this is how it's gonna be. You pay for all expenses. You don't talk. You follow my rules. I'm the boss. Any objections, I leave you on the side of the road without a moment's thought. You got it? You got it? Yeah, got it. Jesus. Two fifty-three. Pack. Like these and a pack of reds. Yes. Is there someone who's never been to the middle of nowhere? I'm curious, is there a place around here where my business associate can buy us a decent meal? Well, there's a diner a mile or two west of here. A diner it is. That's thirty-seven twenty-two. Morning, sunshine. Good morning. Nice 
glasses. Nice face. How about you not blow smoke in my face? Andrew Jackson was from South Carolina. He was born in Lancaster. He was a president, right? Yeah, yeah, he was our seventh president. Mm -hmm. Vanna White is also from South Carolina. No kidding. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So like, like how long were you with Matthew? Five years. Did you see him when he was sick? No. We haven't spoken in three years. Did, did you? Ah, uh, no. I was sort of busy. How long did you know Matt? I mean, we were friends when we were kids. Texas. He ran through a glass door. That's how he got the scar. There. We pull over. I, I, I need to take this. Yeah, I need to get gas. Hello, you've reached Frank and Janet. Please leave a message. Hey, mom. It's uh, it's Lily. I was just calling to say hello. I know I haven't called in a, in a while. Um, just been really, really busy working hard. Uh, school's going really well, but we have some exams coming up, so, um, yeah, I was just calling to say hi. Uh, give me a call if you get a sec. I hope all is well with you. Okay, talk to you soon.
Little Miss Maggie want some OJ? Thanks, Gwen. Did you have breakfast? Yes, I ate at home, Mrs. Cooper. Please leave the orange juice, Gwen. Yes, Mr. Cooper. So, Gray, where's Amanda? Well, Gregor, she's in Seattle. So, Elliot, um, where are you from? Uh, originally just outside of D.C. Oh, you two didn't know each other growing up, did you? No. Yep. Here we are. The Barker clan. Make the Kennedys look like fucking saints. And there he is. Puppet master himself. My father. When was the last time he spoke to him? A few weeks ago he called. I heard a man had gotten pregnant. So he cut me off. Told me, son, it's time you become a man. Take some responsibility for your actions. Take some pride. Clean up your fucking act. Fucking hypocrite. I was raised by nannies. What a joke. So you got your girlfriend pregnant? Yeah. Hey, Spielberg, let's go. What do you do, Lily? Um, nothing steady right now. I dance. It takes some time to figure it out. She's really beautiful. Thanks. She's a handful. <laughs> Gregor's not too much help with her. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a, he's a good dad. Just he works a lot. But um, I like being a mother. Sometimes it doesn't feel like she's my daughter. It's more like we're best friends, you know? It's definitely different than my mom and me. <laughs> I hear that. Do you want to build a sand castle? Sure. Can we use that? Oh, no. We can't use that. Why? What's in it? It's, uh... It's my friend's sand. What's your friend's name? It's Matthew. Careful, Greg. She's a sexy young thing. I'm tempted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's definitely into me, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> You're so fucked up. <laughs> I talked to Amanda. Good to you, Gray. I'm not talking about this. You got nothing to say? And maybe it's time you start thinking of this instead of this, huh? You're so much like Dad. It's pitiful. I'm so scared. Swimming? I don't know how. Your parents never taught you? You, Aggie, 
Take care of Matthew Stan. I will. All right. See you little ladies later. Bye. Have a good Bye. trip. Did you get the ashes? Jesus Christ. What? I'm sorry. Let's meet out here in like 20 minutes. Yeah, when I'm ready. Hey, Mom. Uh, it's me. Just checking in. Uh, everything's good down here. Um, going to work soon, so... You know, just uh, call me if you get a chance. Um, yeah, give me a call. Okay. Bye. To Matt. I'm gonna go get smokes. <clears throat> you look pretty. What? You look pretty. Amanda, 
leave a message and if you're lucky I'll call you back. No, 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 no. No, no, you'll like it, trust me. For you. Stay with me. Gray? Just go to sleep. Will you lie down next? Do this. Oh, stop it, what? Gray! Stop! Gray, get the fuck off what? of me! Stop it! What? what the fuck are you doing? I said stop! 
I asked you to lay down next to me. I don't want to have sex with you. Are you serious? You're such a cock tease. What the oh, fuck is yeah. that supposed to mean? You wanted me when you were with Matt. Oh, how dare you? How dare you bring Matt into this? Listen to me, you pompous piece of shit. I never would have fucked you. I never would have done that to Matt. Well, because I didn't pay you? Well, you want money? Is that what you want? Huh? How much do I have to pay to get a stripper in the back room, huh? Well, I don't have to pay, huh? Huh? Get out! $20? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of here! Matt was right. You get out! You are fucking crazy! I should have never brought you on this trip! Get out! Good to go. You want me to drive? Uh, no, I gotta. Sure? Yeah. You checked the fucking car, man. I did. Then why are we like totally out of coolant? What the fuck is that? Maybe it sprung a leak. Yeah, or maybe you're a fucking idiot. You watch your mouth. No, well, fuck you. Guys. I don't even know why you're on this fucking trip, man. You act like you're all fucking important, like you're the only one who's close to Matt. Whatever, fuck you, Gray. I mean, just because you can't take responsibility for your own life doesn't mean you have to take it on to other people. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Why don't you ask your pregnant girlfriend? Now, fuck you. Pussy. Oh, what, you're gonna kick my ass, Craig? Yeah, that'd be a real fucking shocker. You know what? You're pitiful, man. Your girlfriend's pregnant, you're sleeping with Lily, and you're trying to fuck anyone you can. Come on. Guys, stop it. Greg, get off him. Greg, get off of him. Stop. Greg, stop. Yeah, looks like.
like you got yourself a leak. I can get a part. Have it ready for you by tomorrow. Is there a motel or a campground or anything <laughs> like that? Are you looking at it? <laughs> I live down the road a bit. You're more than welcome to camp up there and back. Dinner's at six. I'll have Rachel, my wife, make a little extra. Come if you like. No skin off my back. How old are you, Gray? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. You remind me a bit of my oldest son. He's younger than you. They've got the same kind of energy. What's in the container? Um, that's for a friend. Like a gift? Yeah. Yeah, like a gift. Okay. We're thankful for the food we're about to eat. Thankful for our health and good spirits, and for the company we have tonight. God bless America. Amen. 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 Thank you, honey. Well... Now, y'all, y'all don't be shy. I mean, uh, being polite don't fill your belly, does it? <laughs> so you gonna show our guests your uh, karate video? Hell yeah. Ha! Here's a green belt, karate. It's like 20 kids punching and kicking each other until they fall down. It's really hilarious. I mean, it's really cool. So, um, Katie showed me a photo of your oldest son? Eric, yeah. yeah. He's serving in Iraq. Mm. He should be home by Christmas. One desert to another. So, Gray, where are you from? Mm, D.C. My dad's a congressman. Mm. A fancy watch. Huh. I think there was a plan. See, President Kennedy's assassination was a means to an end. Like, is it really so strange that the main people in power in Nixon's cabinet are the same people in power today? This man speaks the truth. No, it saddens me how things are right now. Our country is so lost. Hell, it's been hijacked. Our sons and daughters kidnapped. I hope you boys know how lucky you are. Now, our sons sent pictures. It was just kids with guns. It's bullshit. Dave. Sorry. So, is that why you moved out here? You're like, sticking it to the man? No. No, we moved here so our kids could grow up normal. Normal? You're like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Don't disrespect me. You're a guest in my house, sitting at my table, eating my food. I know you, Gray. I know what you're about. What do you really know about me? I got a beautiful family, my own house. I live life on my own terms, and I'm not searching anymore, which is more than I can say for you. Well, you're not my father, and I'm not your son, so thanks for the meal. I think Matthew would have really liked it here. He called me. Asked me to take him to Mexico like we always talked about when we were kids. And I never called him back. It's so fucked. You know, like here I am, this rich asshole kid who said everything in his life handed to him. 
Matthew dies this horrible death, and here I am. Looking at this. What are you so angry about anyway? My father. I'm so scared I'm going to end up like him. You're scared you're going to end up like your father. I don't want to be the same type of father. No one's saying you have to be. My mother drowned when I was seven years old. And my father pretty much went crazy after that, you know? And I hated him for it. You know, I, I really blamed him. I hated him after he died. You know, and all that anger, it was like, exhausting. Anyway. I think you'll be a good father. New game, new game, new game. Uh, new game. Um, favorite color? Um, orange. Gray. I don't have a favorite color. Come on, everybody has a favorite color. Dude, I'm named after a color. I hate colors. I don't like colors. <laughs> you don't like colors? I don't like colors, man. What was uh, Matthew's favorite color? Green. He always wore green. He was like a fucking frog person or something. Take a shower.
happy for all I've seen. Good and bad. I've learned that you have to forgive. You have to put things to rest. We all want families who love us because friends go separate ways. Some people know their place, their home. For others, it's not so simple. Go swimming in a lake. Hmm. Big dreams there. Shut up. What do you want to do? I want to see a real old fashioned cowboy rodeo. Ooh. Yeehaw. Yeah, yeehaw. I was reading about this uh, Native American ceremony they have in New Mexico. So they go on this 20 mile journey up to the peak of this mountain barefoot over rocks and dirt and all that. When they get to the top, they slaughter a deer. Right? After that, they give thanks to the deer. They pray for the deer. And they have this great big feast. Or we can go to like a, a monster truck rally. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh man, cowboys, Indians, and monster truck rallies. We're a patriotic group. <laughs> Let's go to the state fair. You want to go to the state fair? Come on. These guys are cool. Fine, we'll go to the deer slaughter. So. How exactly did you know Matt? We met in foster care. When, when he first came in, you know, he's such a tiny little guy. But, but tough. Scared. I mean, we all were, you know, so. Yeah, it's like, we didn't even really know each other that long. You know, only a couple months, really. But when he came in, there was just something about him. You know, we, we just knew each other. We were like brothers or something. But he got lucky. He got out quick. You know, he, he was still young and cute. How long were you there for? Um... And I don't even expect you to believe this. Um, I'm George Bush's third cousin. <laughs> Do I get out of here? Hey, Elliot, get your camera out. I want you to interview me. I really want you to. <laughs> Where are you from? What? Your accent. I don't have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> you have an accent. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so why don't you go ahead and uh, give me your full name? Lillian Sally Waters. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. All right. Um, so where is it that you're, uh, where is it that you're from? D.C. area. No, I mean, um, you know, like your family and stuff. I don't want to talk about my family. But, but you asked me to interview you. What do you want to know? Um, are you an only child? No, I have an older brother in Florida, but we don't really talk. And your parents, how's your relationship with them? Uh, the relationship might be overstating it. I am a child of divorce. Did you ever feel like you weren't born to the right people? 
that's how it kind of is with us. We just don't really get each other. Do they know what you do for a living? The stripping? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm in school. <laughs> okay, um, now this is something I've I've been meaning to ask you. What's with the pills? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the pills? They help me sleep. And that's it. No, that's not all. They um they make me feel better sometimes. It runs in the family. Like mother, like daughter. Did I tell you my friend died? Yes, she did. Yeah, he was very sick. How long were you friends for? Since we were kids. Were you two into trouble? Breaking all the girls' hearts? Yeah. Well, he did. He always did. Not me, man. I always got my heart broken. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> 10 years. I don't know. Do you, uh, do you want children? <laughs> I, I don't think so. Marriage? Mm, no, I, I don't know. Well, you never know, but uh, kids and husbands and dogs. And I, don't, I just don't know if that's in my future. So why do you strip? Honestly? Yeah. I like the attention. I like the power. And I love the money. It gives me a lot of freedom to do whatever I want to do. It does? It? Yeah, it does. Uh, last question. What happened between you and Matthew? I left him. I just left him one day. We were going to get married. And is there anything you would like to say to him, if you could? The truth is, uh, Matthew is a great friend. Sounds good. Yeah, but I hadn't, I hadn't seen him in a while. I wasn't visiting home, like, I wasn't around, really, so. I'm sure he understood. Do you live around here?
good we had today. I can't swim. You can't swim? I mean, I, I, I can't even float. The minute my feet don't touch the ground, I, I go right under. Really? Yeah. Floating's easy. I'll teach you how to float. Can I, can I stand there? Yeah. It's not deep. Come on, I'll teach you. You got me. I got you. Okay. There we go. And now what? Just relax. Relax. <laughs> you <don't laughs> yeah, look, I'm relaxed. You don't look relaxed. I'm relaxed. You want to put your head back? Uh, yeah. Okay, breeze. <laughs> there you go. You're don't floating. lick them. Don't lick them. I won't. I won't. I'm not. Nice, isn't it? Whee! Okay, I'm just gonna do one arm, okay? Okay. But I got you. Relax. This is such a great idea. Well, you can give it, but you can't take it? Okay, fine. What do you want to know? Um, okay, okay I'll give you a different question. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? No. Boyfriend? No. Why not? Uh, I don't know. Have you ever had sex? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay. More serious. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? <laughs> um, somewhere different. I don't know, maybe with, a, like, a family? Is that what you want? Yeah. I mean, don't we all? Where are you from? Originally, I'm from just outside of D.C. Uh, this town called Chantilly. Do you know that song? What song? Chantilly Lace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> had a pretty face. And a ponytail hanging down with a ring yeah, and yeah. a walk and a da-da-da-da <laughs> something. Sort of it. <laughs> that one. Uh, yeah, my mom used to sing that to me, like, all the time. She thought it was very funny. Where's your father? He died when I was in the system. I was at this group home in Baltimore. And I guess I was 10 years old. And a uh, nasty old bitch. That, that's what we used to call her. She wouldn't let me go to the funeral. She said it cost too much, you know, with gas and... 
so I decided to take the bus. But she found out and called the cops and they picked me up at the bus depot. Where would you say you call home now? I don't know. I mean, maybe that's what I'm looking for. But maybe I'm already here. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm just gonna watch TV and be up. Oh, uh, you sure? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Go, go have fun. Yeah. Don't get too crazy, though, kid. Okay, you're not. Okay. Mom, it's me. It's, uh, it's Lily. Yeah, Lily, how are you? I'm good. I'm all right. I've been trying to reach you. I was out of town for a while. Oh, cool. Where'd you go? I went on a trip, Lily. What's with all the questions? Sorry. So school, school's going really good. Getting good grades? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's been good. So, um, <sighs> Mom, I, w I was, uh, I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, and I was thinking about maybe, I was thinking about coming home. Lily, it's not a good time right now. I'm really busy. Yeah, um, I was thinking about just, just maybe for a little bit. Lily, you know what your father and I said. Well, Frank is not my father. Jesus, Lily, stop being so spoiled. We're sick of it. I don't want you doing drugs and drinking in my house. Mom, I want to come home. Lily, you're too old for this. Mom, I kind of need to come home. I want to come home. You're on your own. Mom? I have to go. Mom?
guys. You're probably right now wondering where I am. Um, I had to move on. I couldn't stay any longer. But I wanted to say goodbye and thank you for everything. Take care of Maddie for me, okay? Maybe I'll see you on the road sometime. Are you afraid of being alone? It's all I've ever known. Then what are you afraid of? Water. 
small, but like, like deeper. You afraid of dying? Nah. I mean, it's the one thing we have in common, right? This is a good way to say goodbye. idea. Let's pack up our stuff. We're gonna move down there. This is perfect. I think I'm gonna leave tomorrow. Where are you gonna go? To Seattle. To Amanda. I don't wanna lose her. I think I'm gonna stay here a while. Welcome home.
some people know their place, their home, their comfort. For others, it's not so simple. There is a home for each of us. For some, it's just harder to find. 